name is Anil Parra. I completed my undergraduate program in international studies at DePaul University in 2008. I decided to study this particular program because since I was very little, I was always exposed to different cultures. My, my father would play records of Caetano Veloso from Brazil, or he would also play movies for Giuseppe Tornatore from Italy. And this, this exposure to other cultures since a very early stage of my life gave me the, uh, the curiosity of uh, pursuing a degree that would give me the opportunity to go into depth and deal with international issues. I decided to study the program of international studies because I believe in the importance of uh, analyzing uh, specific situations from a cross-disciplinary approach and always look at different perspectives but go deep into the roots of the particular situation and always come up with the best possible solution that way. One of the classes that I remember really marked my life from the International Studies program was Identities and Boundaries. Uh, for that particular program, I did research on the Roma community in Eastern Europe. Um, I was drawn into this particular subject because uh, a year before that, I had studied abroad in uh, Budapest, Hungary. So I, was, I, w I realized that it, it was a social problem, that it was a, a community of a minority group that was just living in um, extreme poverty and, and uh, it was just a never ending, it's just a never ending circle and, and you know, people just don't care about what the real background or what the what the um, the root of the problem is. So I decided to, to do this particular project for this class, and um, and of course I did I did a, a report on it, and and it was it was a great experience just to be able to learn how to research and how to go deep into particular situations, so not just be left from what the TV or the mainstream media is saying. One of my major accomplishments since I completed my program at DePaul University was uh, to start my own uh, independent publishing house. Um, the name of it is Siete Vientos. Siete Vientos is a coll collective of editors from different backgrounds and different nationalities that um, is trying to promote the work of upcoming writers or underrepresented writers that have never been exposed to an English-speaking audience. The first book was um, the re-edition of the work by a Puerto Rican writer whose name is uh, Manuel Abreu Adorno. The name of the book is And the Hippies Came, and this book was out of print for over 30 years. Um, we were able to rescue the work of this uh, writer who uh, died in 1984 and um, we translated the book and now uh, we're just promoting the work. It's uh, Manuel Abreu Adorno is called the uh, pioneer of uh, Macondismo, a specific generary style or genre uh, in, in literature. This is a book that uh, our last publication it's called And the Hippies Came and uh, it is a flip version, actually you can read it in English from one side and if you flip it, you can actually read it in the original language, in Spanish. Um, the book is a compilation of 12 short stories. Um, they, uh, they deal with uh, isolated situations from people that, um, situations that can happen to, that could happen to, er to anyone. And uh, the narrative of the writer is just amazing. He was very elaborated in making sure that uh, his stories transport you to the specific life of the, of the characters from the stories. I would like to thank you for the opportunity of um, uh, listening to my personal experience. Um, it is a great pleasure to be part of this community. It is really a privilege to to be an alumni of the International Studies at DePaul University. Um, 
speak truth to power.